Great. Happy Commitment Sunday. This morning we had an opportunity for folks to drive through our campus uh, to drop off their commitment cards. We just wanted to thank you so much. Uh, if you were able to join us for that or if you already submitted your commitment card online or sent it through the mail. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet, it's not too late. We'll continue accepting those commitments uh, so that we can continue the great works of compassion that we've seen over the last few weeks um, and the message of enhancing connection that you'll hear about tonight. CJ Arneson, a good friend of mine, will be sharing our final video message of our commitment campaign. Uh, he's going to share a little bit about his vision for a three-campus church at LAUMC, Los Altos, Mountain View, and online, uh, and what these shelter-in-place orders um, have done to move us along toward that vision and enhance our um, online community and enhance our connections through our tech ministry. Thanks so much for being a part of our commitment campaign. We appreciate your ongoing support of the wonderful, wonderful work at LAUMC. My name is CJ Arneson, and I'm excited today to share a little bit about our online campus. The online campus was something we've been envisioning for years, but none of us could have anticipated how quickly it'd have to become a reality due to COVID-19. As you all know, due to COVID, all of our in-person gatherings at LUMC came to a screeching halt. That included worship, but also Sunday school, small group meetings, Bible studies, youth group, youth choir, adult choir, all of these things came to, a stop, came to a stop, but due to our online campus and due to the resiliency of LUMC's community, they pivoted all online. Now, we've been streaming online for the last decade, but at no point had we welcomed our entire congregation to our chat room and to our online campus. But in early March, we had that opportunity, and you all did it in stride, gathering together with viewing parties, connecting with your families, sharing your links out, and even welcoming parishioners from other churches. It has been a blessing to be able to worship with you online to the, the creativity and perseverance of our worship team, preaching and sharing Bible verses and words of wisdom from their backyards and porches all around. In addition to our online worship, our youth groups, our youth choirs, our Bible studies and small groups have all started to meet on Zoom, which is an absolute blessing. These communities that we, that we rely on to get our, daily, our weekly recharge between Sundays are you still meeting? Some of those small groups are sharing meals together, sharing stories, even playing fun games. And because they're on Zoom and because they're digital, more people can join, people that don't have to worry about traffic and commutes. And even people that maybe didn't ever come to our LUMC campus before are now finding us on these virtual gatherings. In addition to those, we've also added a Facebook and YouTube uh, activities that are well beyond what we've been doing in the past. Dirk is streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays and sharing inspirational words and piano music. Our Instagram feed is full of daily inspiration videos, tips and tricks, and words of wisdom during this time. Most recently, we even had Conversational Church move online to talk about the matters that are most important to this world and most important to our hearts and our community. And last Sunday, we launched our ASL Zoom where we are actually offering American Sign Language on a Zoom call in parallel to our online stream. And these are just some of the ways that LUMC has pivoted to adapt to an online campus during this time. But I wanna talk about some of those stories, some of those people that are being affected. One of the stories I'd like to share is the story of the tech ministry group that pivoted to meeting online right when shelter in place hit. That group normally meets in Creekside up in the booth every other week to help with worship running cameras and sound and generally geeking out. Well, when shelter in place hit and we were stuck at home, that group immediately pivoted to meeting online virtually. We meet weekly to discuss joys and concerns, share prayers that are on our heart, but also to geek out, play video games, and see what we can do to help the church. Since, since shelter in place, that group has made two virtual choir videos that you saw during the Easter services and is working diligently right now to help Starfire bring its musical online. Now, that's exciting by itself, but I'm really proud to share that that group has grown during this time. We have more kids finding us and meeting us because of 
opportunities that normally wouldn't have been available. They're joining us online on Discord, joining our youth program, playing escape room games, dreaming up what other ways we can do to help the church and help the communities around us. And a lot of those kids have joined Team Possible, envisioning what entrepreneurship and other ideas can do to reinvent church. In general, I couldn't be more proud of LUMC during this time. We took a thriving, brilliant ministry and community that used to gather in person and have pivoted and moved it online. Well, shelter in place and COVID or anyone's version of an ideal world or an ideal situation, LUMC has been making the best of it. And I'm really proud to see our online campus come alive thanks to people like you supporting and building community even though we can't be together in person. Thank you so much.